Okay. Are my judges ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Humans are always wanting to create something. We build skyscrapers, invent new technology, and create astounding structures that might not even help humans as a growing successful society. One of these reasons is for the sole purpose of art. But what exactly is art? Art is extremely subjective and has a very broad meaning. That means <clears throat> that means some people may think certain art should be recognized as such. And that, that is what I mean to talk about today. Hello, my name is Rodney Evans, and I think digital design, that being logos, paintings, and drawings, should be an appreciated art form for all artists. Now you may be wondering, you may be thinking to yourself, why did I choose this subject and <clears throat> why do I have my opinions on this, this subject? Well, it all started whenever I was nine years old in fourth grade. I began to start drawing, uh, creating stories about people with superpowers fighting monsters through pictures. And I soon realized that's what I wanted to do whenever I grew up. <clears throat> now, whenever I actually did grow up, I decided to <clears throat> I decided to go digital. I wanted a graphic tablet to be able to draw online on computers and show people on websites. <clears throat> and that is what I wanted to do. Now, there are some misconceptions that some people believe about digital art. One of these misconceptions is that it takes less time to create digital art. <clears throat> uh, they think that it shouldn't take less time. You should be working hard on your drawings and really loving what you uh, draw. And I totally agree. Another misconception is that it takes less skill. All the tools they have at their fingertips uh, using the programs like Photoshop and Illustrator enables them to create things easier, quicker, and faster. And they think it should take just as much skill as uh, drawing traditionally. And what it does, it trivializes, it trivializes digital art, it trivializes traditional art. And they think that it shouldn't be able to do that. Why draw traditionally when you can draw digitally faster and easier? These are just misconceptions and in the reality, it's actually quite opposite, quite the opposite. It takes just as much time to draw digitally than it, than it does to draw traditionally. It also takes just as much skill. They may have tools for, for tools from Photoshop and Illustrator, but that doesn't mean it makes it easier to draw. It all depends on their skills. One of the main benefits of digital art is that it it is good for all artists, from amateurs to experts. They can all use the same software or different softwares <clears throat> on their computer, and they can create something amazing. Whenever I began my research, I first discovered, I began to realize that <clears throat> the definition of art can vary between each person, and the definition can be very broad. Each person in this room might have a different definition of digital art or art in general. So in the, fun in the fundamentals of things, everything is art. From tables to chairs to paintings created by famous artists, they're all the same thing in this perspective. So this is why this, this subject is very controversial. Who is to say what art is and what art isn't? The truth is no one can say. <clears throat> Whenever I continued my research, I began to realize that my subject I was getting myself into was a lot more serious than I thought. I learned more than I bargained for, but in the end, I loved the information that I received. So let me get back to things. Does that mean digital art is art? Well, in the, by the basics of things, yes, but in reality, it all depends on the person. My opinions, however, I believe that digital art should be an appreciated art form. What I chose for my product to correlate with my research and to, so, and to support my beliefs in my research is I, writ, I wrote and illustrated a 28-page graphic novel. Another, another reason why I chose uh, a graphic novel is because I'm very 
I grew up around art and I appreciate any forms of art no matter what it may be and I love I love observing the small details of it. My 28 page graphic novel is about <clears throat> it is called Scavenger's Tales a search for power cells it is about two brothers who look for power to power a mechanism that defends their home. Whenever I began to create my product, I had a schedule in mind. Every weekday at 7 o'clock, I drew the rough draft in a sketchbook and tried to draw at least one page each day. Then, whenever I went to school, if I had any free time, I decided to draw in that time. But if I didn't, that was okay because I went to Votech in West Plains. Commercial and Advertising Arts was my class. And I got permission from my teacher, Mr. Heidi, to draw, to redraw my sketchbook and make it digital. Whenever I completed my, <clears throat> whenever I completed my comic, I felt very proud of myself, and I loved showing my family and friends and the reactions. Sometimes the feedback is a little bit better than what I created, in my opinion. It wasn't smooth sailing, though. I had two main problems that I faced and experienced during the process of my creations. One of these process, one of these creations, one of these hardships, sorry, was that the due date intimidated me greatly. Usually, it should it should encourage someone to to finish their product, but ironically, I was discouraged and intimidated. Sometimes I didn't feel like drawing, and the due date really stressed me out. Another hardship I faced, something I couldn't control, was the weather. Whenever the weather goes out, whenever the weather comes around and school is out for everyone, usually the students are happy. Me, on the other hand, I was a little stressed out because in Votech, I wouldn't be able to go to Votech and I couldn't finish my product, so I was set back for almost a little week. <clears throat> So it all comes back to the fact that humans are always wired to create something. They might, they might not even realize if they're creating something or not, but they always create, it may be from architecture to actual art. My product supported my thesis and my research, and it, they wove together and I feel proud at the fact that I uh, did these things. So what about everyone in this room? Have you created something bigger than life or bigger than what you would expect? And have you showed your family and, family and friends? Have you ever felt proud of what you created? And have your, has your, have your people been uh, very proud of what you created? Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Did your uh, book printed at the Votech, or did you send it somewhere? I had the materials in Votech to uh, to print out my things, and I'm very grateful for my teacher, Mr. Heidi. Any more questions? What, did, what program did you use for the tablet? Do you use to create on? I first I sketched out on a normal sketch, right. on a sketchbook, and then to finalize it, I used. A Wacom, I don't know the exact model, but it was Wacom brand. And it was a very large uh, computer screen. It was a monitor and a computer at the same time. And I used a stylus to draw on the screen. Basically. Did you have a picture of that that you could back up to? Is that what one of your pictures? I think yeah. there's a picture in here. Yeah, in the back of each of these comics. I show the process of me creating uh, comic. Was that a new skill that you learned? Because you never used that before. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. uh, thankfully, I learned Photoshop Illustrator in Votech by Mr. Heidi. And I was very proud. Or I was very thankful for that. How did you come up with the idea for, for what your story would be? Whenever it all starts out with creating a character. I usually love sketching whenever I'm bored or something like that. And whenever I like really love what I made, like a character, 
I would automatically start creating a story behind them. And this one is the one that stood out most to me. And I actually started this comic uh, the summer before I became a senior. Any more questions? Okay. So I guess I'm finished.